I was always treated well and kindly, and while I lived with them, I was married to a Delaware. He afterwards left me and the country and went, went, and went west of the Mississippi. The Delawares and Miamis were then all living together. I was afterwards married to a Miami, a chief, and a deaf man. His name was Shepanawa. After being married to him, I had four children, two boys and two girls. My boys both died young. The girls were living, and they're here in this room at the present time. I cannot recollect much about the Indian wars with the whites, which were so common and so bloody. I will remember a battle and a defeat of the Americans at Fort Wash, Washington, which is now Cincinnati. I remember how Wayne, or Mad Anthony, drove the Indians away and built the fort. The Indians then scattered all over the country and lived upon game, which was very abundant. After this, they encamped all along Eel River. After peace was made, we all returned to Fort Wayne and received provisions from the Americans, and there I lived a long time. I had removed with my family to the Mississinewa River some time before the Battle of Tippy Canoe. The Indians who fought in that battle were the Kickapoos, Potawatomis, and Shawnees. The Miamis were not there. I heard of the battle on the Mississinewa, but my husband was a deaf man and never went to the wars, and I did not know much about them. No, I cannot, was the sad but firm reply. I have always lived with the Indians, and they have always used me very kindly. I am used to them. The Great Spirit has always allowed me to live with them, and I wish to live and die with them. Your Wapumwami may be longer than mine, but this is my house. I do not wish to live anywhere but here.